Hello and welcome. This is Lindsay of Lindsay Michelle for a mini merengue yoga class. This morning we're going to begin in lizard pose. So go ahead and come into what is similar to our plank pose and then just take the right foot to the outside of the right hand, drop the left knee, inhale, go. Exhale, straighten the leg. Inhale, go. And exhale, straight. <coughs> Excuse me, exhale. And last one. And release. Bring that right leg back to the left. Send the hips toward the heels for extended child's pose on the exhale. Inhale, rise from the left leg to the left foot to the outside of the left hand. Drop the hips. Inhale. Exhale, hips towards heels. Hold here. Breathe into any tightness, anything sticky. Really focusing on that hamstring on the exhale. Inhale, look up. Exhale, send those hips back. Inhale, and exhale. Send that left leg back, and this time let's take the knees wide, toes together, extended child's pose. So just send the hands toward the hips. We're looking for a deeper stretch. Good. And let's come to tabletop, pressing into our cats and cows. And the third one. And tuck the toes, send the hips to the sky. Send the right leg high. You can have a bend knee here. Oh, hip. And then send the knee through to meet the hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Excuse me. Inhale, rise up to high lunge. Grab that left wrist with the right hand and take a side side stretch. And come back to neutral stretch the other way. And inhale. And exhale, pyramid. Right foot to the left, double facing dog, take your flow. Inhaling and exhaling. Up, facing dog. Exhale, down dog. Step, hop, or jump the feet to meet the hands. Inhale, half the lift. Exhale, forward fold. Roll all the way up. And swan dive. Step, hop, or jump the feet back into your chaturanga. Inhale, up, Exhale, down dog, stay. Left leg comes high over the hip. Step the left leg through to meet the hands. And inhale up. Grab the right wrist with the left hand. And other way. And release pyramid. Straighten the legs, knee to nose. Exhale, down facing dog. And knees wide, toes together, hips towards heels, hands at low back. And rise up, down the facing dog, and just walk the feet toward the hands and grab the elbows and just let gravity do its part. Just nod the head, yes, shake it, no. Yes, shake it, no. Now release the hands and just sway left and right. And then roll up one vertebrae at a time. Inhale, extend the mountain. Exhale, hands at heart center. And let's come back to that high lunge on the right by stepping that left foot back. Good. Extend the torso forward, coming up and out of the low back. Take a twist to the right, and maybe you fly, maybe you bind. Back to prayer, step the left foot to meet the right and switch. And then your high lunge on your left, lift up and out of that low back to lean forward. And twist to that left, hook the elbow, 
fold and float the palms, bring those hands together and hands at heart center, rise. Step the right foot to meet the left into your chair pose. Inhale, rise up, extend the mountain. Exhale, swan dive. Step up or jump to down through your downward facing dog. Inhale and take a flow. And exhale. Bring the feet to the hands. Halfway lift on the inhale. Exhale, forward fold, rolling up one vertebrae at a time. Inhale, extended mountain. Exhale, hands to heart center. Let's take eagle, I'll face you. Bring all the weight into that left foot. I like to lift the toes and spread them wide. And then just rock a little to get your base they roll. And then let's press into that left foot, deep into the earth, to the mat, to the floor. And bring the right knee to the chest, cross it over, bend the knee, tuck, excuse me, squeeze the abdominals for balance, find your focal point and hook the foot. And then the hands can come right under left, cross at the forearm, lift the elbow, send the forearms away from the forehead, gaze on either side of those wrists. And when you're ready, inhale, release. Swan dive, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Tuck and roll all the way up again. Extended mountain. Exhale, prayer. Lift those toes. Repeat on the other side. Spread them. Toes come down. Press into that right foot. Left knee into the chest. Squeeze the abdominals. Find your twisty gaze. Cross the thighs and tuck the toes. Left arm under right, cross at the forearm with the elbow. Forearms away from forehead and face. Gaze on either side of those wrists. And inhale, release. Swan dive forward. Roll up. Good. Mountain pose first. So we're just going to bend through each knee, rocking the hips. So meringue. It's just a step, step, step dance. I like to guide my rib cage to either side and really press through the floor as if it were sticky as you're getting a foot massage with every press of the foot. Going through the ball of the foot, all the way to the heel, massaging under each and every toe as we do so. And the arms can remain at 90 degrees. So we're just stepping here. We can do lots of things. We can take it forward and back. Now we can come back to center, I'll just turn. We can take it side to side across the mat. And we can also take it into a circle. So just spinning around, I'm going to my left right now. And then I'll look to my right and go to my right. Okay, we may even take it around the mat. So grab a sip of water, I'll get some music going and we will dance to the beat of the music. Okay, so we'll get up to the count. Usually counting groups of four. Five, six, seven, here we go. And one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we're going to take it side to side. So we're taking it to the side. Other side. Turn here and take it forward.
Keep going. There you go. Okay, let's go to the middle. Take that turn to the right. To the left. Five, six, seven, eight, and right. And left. Hold it there. In place. Let's add some arms and red arms. Left arm. Both arms down. Good. And back to your left. Right arm up. To the right. And right. Good. And left. So take it down. And release. Just have fun. Take some turns if you like. Take it low. Take it together. Good. Let's take it forward and back like this and forward. Back. Turn. Other way. Side to side and Distance and just stretch down on the right and our left. Good. And then come on up. Let's go ahead and take them a little more narrow. Let's drop down with the hands on the thighs. Tempo pose. Right shoulder. Twist. Good. Twist. And let's extend that twist, rolling up, separating the feet. Airplane arms, come on down to your airplane flat back, left arm down, right arm up, and extend up, really stretching through that spine, creating space between the vertebrae. Inhale through center, right arm down, left arm up. And come on back. One more time, each side really rinsing out the internal organs with your twists. And switch. Yeah, release. Hands behind the back, clasp the fingers or grab the elbows, let the hands hang. Nice deep stretch here. And then drop the heels and the hips and come into your squat. This is kind of a loose squat. I invite you just to press up, squeeze the mula bandha, the pelvic floor, and rise up and on the chest, pressing the elbows into the inner thighs and the knees and the knees into the inner thighs and elbows. And when you're ready, you can come on down, but just rotate and take boat pose. So you can send those legs up to the sky and hold. If you're releasing one or both arms and then coming in to butterfly pose. Inhale and send those hands forward, drop the head. And rise up, let's go ahead and roll onto the belly and come into our baby cobra. Rise up, bend through the knees, see if you can grab the front of those feet, press the feet into the hands, hands into the feet. And release, continue the roll, back on, get back, 
for figure four. Crossing the left leg over the right. You can both those arms or send them out wide. How about wide? Cross the leg away. And other side. And come back, take the counter stretch here, and back to center. Let's just take a little bit of a bicycle here, crossing the fingers behind the head, every other elbow, crossing the center line of the body. This increases the synapses in the brain. Very good for you. And your abdominals. And release some of the legs up to the sky, the legs of the wall, grabbing the hamstrings. Nice hamstring stretch here. Good. We're going to take plow. So stay where you are, and then come to shoulder stand. And the legs come straight up, and then over to the ground. Down, let's go ahead and come into fish pose. And go ahead and send the legs long, hands under hips, elbows under shoulders, pop up the chest, let the head hang. Come down even further, bringing the crown of the head to the knee. And release. Final resting pose. Shavasana. Feet fall. And release the jaw. And the eyes and the eyes up.
release the tongue from the left eye now. When you're ready, you can draw the knees into the chest and roll on to one side. Pausing transition. Rising up into a cross legged position. Placing the hands at heart center. Bowing forward, saying you stay. Light inside of me sees, honors, celebrates, and enjoys the moment I can say it to you. Namaste. Thank you for joining me today.